How we all get along today? Have you ever taken on a project that by the time you got about halfway into it, you wish you hadn't have started? This rock saw has kind of been that way. Been a while. If any of you has been waiting on an update, had trouble getting parts. Some of my ideas were just pure shit and didn't work out, which is kind of par for the course. But all in all, I think I've about got the bugs worked out of her, and I think I'm going to be happy with it. I did have to break down and spend a little money, which just hurts me deeply. I don't like doing that. So if you're interested, you can go back and look through the uh, other videos and kind of get into the parts. But this rock saw started with a 12-inch uh, table saw. They are out of it. Got it for free. Um, the body is built out of a fuel tank. Uh, the one for bike your pickup had a crack in it. So I salvaged that. The stand, I did have to break down and buy that. I bought that over at the swap meet here in Fillmore. Uh, that's a baby changing station. Pretty well built because you don't want to drop your kids on the floor. So I just added the bottom spreader out a little bit, put some rollers on it. Turned out pretty good. Got the drive for the blade in here. I was able to use the motor um, that came with the saw. It's a one horsepower Craftsman motor. Slowed her down just a hair. I may slow her down some more. I do have a variable pitch pulley over there I may try on it so I can play with the speed a little bit to get the right, right speed for. Um, the top, built the top out of a plastic drum, salvage 50 gallon drum. Cut it in half, split her down the center, shortened her up, put me a couple little viewing windows in there, pop riveted and sheet metal screwed her together. Got me a little window in the end, let some light in. I may end up mounting me a light over here to shine in that one. That was kind of the idea for it so I can see what's going on. Um, the stiffeners on the side for this to get the drum so it didn't try to suck in on me. Those are some old tent poles, fiberglass tent poles. Um, just drilled through there with a couple of holes and put it on with some zip ties and that stiffened them sides right up. And with some aluminum channel iron I had, some scrap, worked out pretty good. Bearings, standard 5 8 flange bearings. Um, had a little trouble getting them there at first, but now they're readily available again. Inside. So, built the table, feed table. Got her where she adjusts back and forth. Got her to feed back and forth this way. First idea for the feed, I wish somebody told me that was total crap. That was one of the ones I wasted time on. Trying using a rotisserie motor. But unbeknownst to me that uh, I should have played with it more before I went through all the trouble. But rotisserie motors randomly reverse, or the one I had did anyway. So it made a terrible cut. So once I got it all hooked up, I had this geode that I thought would just be awesome inside. So I chucked her up in there, cut her. But every time it reversed, it would leave a saw curve and then come back. Got one tiny little void in there. It does have some pretty crystals on down in there. So I'll take some slices out of that. Um, the table... Pretty standard design, but uh, I was way overthinking the rock clamp. I was coming up with all kinds of vice ideas and piddled around with them, and I finally broke down and watched one of Dan Hurd's prospecting videos and showing his rock saws and kind of copied after him. Had a nice, simple little clamp. Just bar slides up and down. Got some adjustment screws to lock her in. Got a double one for bigger ones. I've got some pretty good-sized geodes I want to chop in this thing. That was the whole idea for building it. Um, for defecting, deflecting the lubrication, I've got a piece of an anhydrous pipe tubing that I split and stiffened it up with a piece of steel strap. That keeps the lubricant going on the rock where it should go and not flying all over the place. Um, did runner with some water in it when I made them first cuts. And I had a couple little dribbles coming down the front of it there, but other than that, it sealed up pretty good. So I put a piece of uh, Style D house trim in there to seal that part up. Got me a nice little chain keeper from over, flipping over backwards. A couple of just plain old strap hinges in there holding her together. Got her primered inside. Piece of half inch all threads in my drive unit for it. Um, just built me a cheapo split bolt. Man, she's kind of stiff because I smacked it with a hammer because it was too loose. But just soldered it or welded it into a 
old pair of ice grips I had, ground them off. It works pretty decent. I may come up with something different later, but for right now, that seemed to work just fine. I've ran it back and forth there a half dozen times, and I said cut that one rock with it. Travel in and out to make your slices with. Just a piece of uh, plastic uh, off a PVC cap off the end of a piece of pipe. Just that in and out. So for the uh, table feed, I did break down and had to buy a gear motor. So found this little gear motor. I wasn't able to find any at Surplus Center that had a decent duty cycle, but found this on eBay. It was a hundred bucks um, with a controller. It's a 90 watt, 110 volt. Uh, controller is zero to 67 RPMs. It says here on the front zero to 90, but I guess that may be in percentages. Um, off on switch. You can dial her into whatever speed you want. I'd say she would probably overheat at low speed. So, cause it's not gonna move enough air. So I did slow it down a little bit with the pulleys there in the back. Just some pulleys I had laying around. Now the one thing I did run into is the shaft on that gear motor is metric and you try finding a metric pulley around this neck of the woods. They're just few and far between and scarce as hen's teeth. So, uh, I, I did the old uh, Anheuser Bush repair there. I took a piece of beer can, shaved her down real thin, slid it on there, tightened it down. That pulley's just tight as could be, good and straight. Ain't gonna have no troubles out of it. So, just want to give you a little update. Oh yeah, and I guess I did didn't show that, but I did weld a pipe fitting in there. Uh, that's going to be my drain so I can clean her out. Just got a piece of PVC plastic pipe cap to go over that. Now the thing is, it's going to have to uh, take up a second job in order to buy enough mineral oil or whatever the cutting fluid I decide to use. Uh, that first cut, I did use water and it turned out all right. So I may just use water for a little bit until I get to, get the hangover and get the bugs that worked out of it. I'd hate to waste any fluid. So there's your update for today and the uh, next video I'll fire it up and be cutting some rocks with it so you can actually see her work. But she works just fine. Table runs good and straight. So you all have you a happy Monday and hope Tuesdays are better than Mondays because uh, this one ain't been too good other than this little bright spot in my day. Y'all have a good one. Like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Got any questions, be sure and ask. I can lead you in the direction of where I found my parts at and what have you. Have a good one.